The clay I'm using in this video is uh, NSP Soft Sulfur Free Plastiline by Chavant. Okay, I'm just cleaning off my table here. I want to show you something real quick. I uh, was watching the movie Hidalgo the other night, and uh, in the opening scene, they had, <coughs> they had a movie, I mean, not a movie, a, they were doing a, uh, the Indians were doing a, a ghost dance at Wounded Creek, uh, just before the uh, massacre took place at Wounded Creek, and one of the Indians, let me get a picture here, now I'm turning so you can see them up right side up, because everything's upside down. One of the Indians was holding a medicine wheel up in his hand, and uh, here are pictures of it. Am I doing that right? Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I see what's happening. I got... Well, I don't know. Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> Camera is upside down. All right, I think this is right. Okay, <laughs> I'm all confused because my camera, my screen, I have, I put it around so I can see what I'm shooting, and uh, it's, everything's upside down. So, anyway, this is the medicine wheel, and uh, these are just the brief little shots of him dancing uh, with this medicine wheel in his hand. Let's see if I can get that the light off of it. Uh, he's holding it right here at the bottom of the medicine wheel. So it's a pretty big medicine wheel. And uh, and then I also saw uh, one of the dancers, and this was greatly blown up because uh, he was very far off in the distance. But what struck me was the fact that he had a blanket over his shoulder, which I thought could add to uh, this piece as well. So I'm going to work, work on that a bit tonight. Uh, I, I'm going to re recreate this uh, medicine wheel. They're the four colors, white, black, and yellow and red, and uh, in the four quarters of the, uh, the wheel itself. Here's a uh, photo of a medicine wheel with uh, feathers hanging off the bottom. I'm not sure I'm going to do that because adding the feathers on the bottom would just add to the cost of producing, unless I can figure some way of doing it. All right, let's get busy. Got work to do. All right, I decided to make the uh, round uh, circle of the medicine wheel the same size as this bottle cap because it works out size-wise with the sculpture itself. So, and I got some thin wire. Now, if I'm upside down, I'm sorry. It's just the way the camera's angled, and I can't do nothing about it. Okay, I drilled a hole into that, and now I may have to drill another hole, but for now, this will at least get me started going around the circle here. Got to soften up this uh, wax a little bit because it's cold as a witch's lips. Cold as a witch's lips. Not that I've kissed any witches lately. Okay. Now, get this in camera. Yeah, that works good. The wax is strong enough to... Uh, hold the, the wires together, at least for now. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm not worried about getting the great detail in this because, quite honestly, none of the rest of the statue is, uh, or the piece is uh, in great detail either, so just as long as I get it to look like a medicine wheel, I think I'll be fine. All right, I'm uh, wrapping the uh, hoop with uh, this wax. 
the uh, hoop uh, represents the uh, earth or the universe and uh, it, 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 it's sort of like the uh, Sundance circle very sacred and now I'm going to do the uh, sticks that are going across the uh, hoop that you saw up there just now first thing I'm going to do is get them straightened out I was going to try to put them together like uh, two sticks uh, in the uh, photograph, but I'm going to just do it one stick. Gets too big. I try to do two. So I'm just getting ready to wrap them. Or actually, I, what I'm trying to do here is wrap the hoop to make it look like cloth wrapped around it, but it, it's just too thick. So I decided to rethink that one and decided to put it on top of the sticks because the sticks don't need the extra strength that the wax did on the uh, hoop. So that's what I'm basically doing here and I'm just cutting off the excess. Just enveloping the uh, wire in the clay itself. It just takes time. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry about speeding up this uh, video, but it would have been almost an hour of your time to watch me doing just this. So I didn't want to uh, have your eyeballs fall out onto your table from boredom. There we go, and add them on. They look great. Uh, now, the next thing I want to do is check to make sure all the extensions are the same. That one's a little long, so I'm going to cut off a little bit of that one. And get them all the same distance. Next thing I'm going to do is do the uh, sacred uh, little pouch or bag that's going to hang off the center of the uh, hoop. not sticking out so I'm going to heat up a knife point and uh, so I can melt the clay onto the center so it'll stay like gluing it there we go all right that's uh right, let's see what hand would be best for this wrong hand should be the right hand Nah, I don't like that one. Let's try this one. Oh, great. That's a good one. That's a keeper. Now, gotta remember what I did with my paint. Okay, what I want to show you here, for those of you watching me for the first time, what I do to make the clay look like uh, clay when I'm not using clay is uh, getting a, a, uh, at a hardware store where you buy paint. I got this interior flat finish uh, uh, one coat easy care. Well, it's, it's a flat paint. And what I do is I took a piece of clay into uh, the uh, hardware store and they match the color of the clay. So I don't know if I've got too little in this. I add a little water to it because this paint's about four years old, so it's getting a little thick. There we go. And uh, let's see if this works. Oh yeah, works perfect. And the reason I paint it is so that it looks like uh, the clay, even though I use wax. Probably should have not attached the hand first, but it's there, so 
Might as well. And uh, it looks pretty cool. I'll do the fingers tomorrow night. I'll lock it in tomorrow night. All right, everybody. That's uh, that's a sculpture right now. I'm going to try to figure out which figure I want to put the blanket over his shoulder. I think it's going to be this guy here. And uh, to tie everything in. I like that medicine wheel. Good night, everybody.